previously on election. Adults should stop stereotyping young people. Just because I wear a hoodie, it doesn't make me a gangster. Ten of Britain's best young leaders have been put to the test. Keep your way to five a day. Come on, guys. You said Dad signed it. We hadn't signed it. Wasn't that a lot? I was telling a white line. Now, four survive. From now on, they'll be more fun and frolic <laughs> on their emotional journey. <laughs> as they battle it out to prove who is the best leader. If they were misbehaving, they deserve to be punished in this way. To series judge Jonathan Dimbleby, who each week will be sending one of them home. Your campaign's over. And the final two will stand for a kids' election in Parliament for the chance to win a personal meeting with the Prime Minister. Last week, Ken Livingston's Wee Wee Test flushed out our candidates' campaigning skills. No, because you both from a stink. Oh, no, I have to flush. I Are have you sure? And it all got extremely messy when they had to invent a new fair trade chocolate bar. Ugh, that is disgusting. Eventually, one of the losing team had to go. Tudor, your campaign's over. Hey, right, thanks very much. There are only four candidates left. Jack, Quincy, Hazel and Izzy. It's all very exciting because any of them could end up in the final. The closer you get, the more you want it. And it's just right, right there in front of you now, like the final's just waiting. And I don't think I want to go yet. I really want to get to that final though because I, I think I'd be great. And I think I've come so far in like speaking, like public speaking and everything. You can't hope anymore. It's really crunch time. I'm going to be in the final two. Just so watch this space, election people. And as ever, they'll have to impress Jonathan Dimbleby. And in this programme, I'll be testing them on publicity stunts. You have to be able to grab people's attention. And a publicity stunt is a pretty good way of doing that, even if you risk making a fool of yourself. Are you okay? Yes. Are you ready for your next test of skills? How are yes. you feeling about the, the new Quite challenge? Now. It'll be hard, won't it? Since it's like the competition's yeah. getting tougher. Chicken, power right! Yeah. How has the dynamic changed now that it's just four of you? I think it's better. It's not quite yeah. too. Yeah. Because you get to know people more if there's yeah. less people because and you talk to them more. Yeah. There's a chicken at the door, people. Oh my goodness, what is that? I'm allergic to chickens, actually. Chickens have rights, too. People like that really scare me. Chickens! <laughs> Do you know what, what, what I think is interesting about that? A chicken's just come into this cafe and saying chickens have rights, too. And all of a sudden, you start thinking about chickens. Yeah. Why is she campaigning? What is happening? Yeah? yeah. And that's what today's programme's all about, the art of publicity stunts. And the first thing to learn is how to get strangers on the street to change their habits. So today, <laughs> you're going to get a campaign and you're going to have to put yourselves out there. OK, okay. okay. Let's Let's do it. Fun. And to help them is human rights campaigner Peter Tatchell. He's no chicken when it comes to campaigning and has stuck his neck on the line in over 3,000 demonstrations. So the protest is a way of, you know, creating awareness you know, getting media coverage, getting people talking, opening up a debate. And what I want you to do is to challenge people in the high street who are out shopping the way they use far too many disposable carrier bags. In the UK, we use over 12 billion throwaway bags every year. They might be handy, but chucking them away is rubbish for our environment. This week it's going to be boys versus girls with Jack and Hazel as team leaders. Try and save as many bags as you can. They'll have to be as pushy as possible to get shoppers to give up any throwaway bags they don't really need. Whoever collects the most wins. Excuse me, mother. I've just noticed that you don't seem to have that much in this plastic bag. Maybe you could hold it and we could help you recycle it. Okay, thank you. 
The girls are being too nice and are giving up far too easily. Are you sure you don't want to? No. Okay, thank you very much. I think sometimes some of them use that as an excuse to yeah. get rid of you. I think maybe try and be a little bit more persistent and keep on pushing at them. And you know, yeah. I know it's difficult when you're getting the brush off, but you know, just keep on them like a bit like a terrier. You know? <laughs> Unlike the girls, the boys are dogged and aren't taking no for an answer. Well, even even if just this, just this could be put into that bag. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. Well, no, but you put your stuff in one bag. And then you give us the two other ones. So you're only using one bag. Oh, get okay, what yeah. you mean now, yeah. yeah. You take your Bible yeah. and just and your keys. You, you I'll use this one. Yeah. Okay. I'll be really thank you so much. Thank you. Wow. Yes, wow. <laughs> wow! There are hordes of bags in there. Yes. <laughs> With only five minutes to go, are the girls going to up their game or throw it all away? Um, block of cheese don't really need a plastic bag for, so yeah. if we could recycle that for you? If you want, yeah. Thank I'll, you very much. Well, let me see if I can put it in my pocket first. OK. Hey, look a bit silly, though, isn't it? I'm just because... Well, that looks fine. Nice one. The girls are on a roll now. Nice one. If there's any space for you to um, switch your shopping so I can recycle some plastic bags for you? Yes, why not? There you go. Oh, thank you very much. You're welcome. Are you happy now? Yeah, I'm very happy. Now. Okay, so we are happy. But will the girls bag this victory? Well, this is the moment. Who's got the most bags? Yes. So do you want to sort of lay them out? Yeah. Pull them out and fold them out on the tables and we'll, we'll start counting. What did you get? 26. 31. Oh! Yes. Oh, so the boys have won the test of skills, but no one's really a loser in this challenge. Not only have you demonstrated just how many people use unnecessary disposable bags that they could have survived without, but also everybody you've spoken to, you've made them aware of an issue. <laughs> On. We're only two weeks away from the final election at the House of Parliament. Any one of our four remaining candidates could get there, and they've all had an incredible journey so far. In this house, I've learned to be more confident. I want to see you wave like crazy. Wait. Ah! I've come this far, I'm in the final four. I'll do everything it takes to win it. It would mean so much to me to win this show because I can finally get there to start making a difference. If people have antisocial behaviour, then they deserve to be punished. You can see it, but you can't reach it. Far too much. £500 per mosquito. Imagine what that will do. Bonjour. I really, really want to win this competition. I've done so much. You shouted, no, no, no. I didn't. I was a man. In Britain, children do actually have a voice, and I think that I could represent all of the children of Britain. To get an important issue covered in the papers, you often have to do something to get people's attention so it will make a headline-grabbing splash. For their leadership challenge, the teams will have to do a publicity stunt and get it photographed in order to raise people's awareness. What you are going to do is come up with a publicity stunt for an endangered species. So, boys, the endangered species you will be working on is the Komodo dragon. This real-life dragon might not breathe fire, but it could have you for breakfast. Sadly, it's in danger of becoming extinct. And girls, your endangered species is the golden lion tamarind. Oh, 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 love These tiny monkeys got their name because of their lion-like manes. They're at risk because their rainforest habitat is being chopped down. Remember, be bold, imaginative, and visual. Yeah. This publicity stunt's got to be good. Yeah. yeah okay. 